kitchen today I thought I, I you know what Tim's vegetarian well no he's pescatarian because he eats seafood um so I kind of had to change the diet in this house as well create a new rules by the way ignore my face ignore my uh, whoever you see right in now um I'm going to be making a Persian dish which we call it fesenjon so it's very simple, I mean it's not very simple, it's quite complicated because it's the first time I'm making it, especially vegetarian, so this is my absolutely first time I'm making it. Um, it does come with walnuts and pomegranate sauce, and um, well, so instead of using chicken, so many people would use also meatball, uh, but instead of all these, I'm going to be using corn chicken so stay with me in this video i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to make it um basically this food would take at least an hour to completely get ready so i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to make it okay guys when i actually said corn chicken this is the stuff i told you yeah you can buy it from sainsbury Tesco, or many other places so this is full of vegetarian uh, I will share the ingredients um, in the description below. Uh, this is made in the UK. Some of the ingredients are something quite the same as potentially, maybe tofu. I'm not sure, but yeah, we'll just see. So what I've done today, I literally just uh, made these walnuts. So I put it in my uh, Ninja. Uh, food processor so as you can see here I've got these onions I didn't really wash it because um, I know that in the end the onions and the walnuts are they're all going to be mixed together uh, so I've literally just uh, put the onion in the food processor it's going to be ready and I've got some walnuts in here as you can see uh, kind of just it's going to be like a creamy not creamy I mean it's like completely uh, like a powder and then it goes like a, a bit like a paste in here then I've got pomegranate, as you can see. Uh, these are going to be like a topping. And then as I told you, these are the corn chickens. You can get them from Tesco, Sainsbury's, um, any other big shops if you're living um, somewhere outside of my country, obviously, because we, uh, I think, I'm not sure about my country, but I don't really know if we have these options right now in there. Anyway, I've added saffron and a bit of salt on it. So the flavor of saffron is going inside this uh, corn chicken. So I'm just closing it so that it's just staying there like that. I'm going to be making the uh, onions and after that I'm going to uh, fry them. And then I will be adding walnuts in it. Uh, so stay with me and let's go and have a look. Right, we're having the onions here. I don't really know why my food processor is literally just making it like that. I mean, that's ninja. So this bit is entirely, uh, it depends on you basically. Uh, I've got turmeric and I've got pepper and I've got salt. I'm going to be, whoop, I'm going to be adding them to the onions. Um, so just adding a bit of salt and then a bit of turmeric I don't really know I hope I'm going to be controlling my hands while I'm filming there we go so for this um I think it's not coming out like that I need to twist it a bit right here is with our onions and I will need to add it into the walnut because literally the final uh paste or sauce or actual fesson john as i said is going to be made in this part where i have the walnut right i'm gonna go and add these to the walnut this bit is very important so because i'm filming myself i can't really show you this bit but make sure you're going to mix these walnuts with onions good enough because your walnuts is more likely to burn if you do not mix it well so i better go and I start in this bit, I had to actually do it all by myself first. I'm going to be adding cold water to the walnut and the, well, the mixture of walnut and onion. So let me just add a bit more water. 
We don't want to add so much water. Uh, I think this could be quite a generous amount of water. So as you can see, this is the mixture of walnut and onion in the water. I'm gonna just mix it all good. Try to whisk it as, you, as good as you can. We're just waiting until it starts to boil. I'm gonna go and put the lid on. Let it boil maybe for five minutes or ten minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is to add the uh, corn chickens with saffron. It's just to get right. My side's almost ready. And of course, I'm gonna go in it. I'm having a pet. Ooh, looks gorgeous. Right, next step, I'm going to be adding these uh, plums. Well, I've got them, my friends actually brought them from London. Uh, so I'm going to be adding them to this. Look at that! This is gorgeous! Look at, look at all this oil. I did not add any oil at all. This is all pure walnut oil, right? So these plums are actually um, washed before, so they're clean. I don't have to wash them. You can just literally add them to the food. I'm going to be adding, I think I might add six of them. Okay. All right, now we left these, um, Want chickens to boil with saffron, and then after that, I'm going to be adding it in now. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to save a bit of that water, which is coming from this uh, corn chicken, as we would also call it, uh, vegetarian uh, gravy or maybe stock. So I'm going to be adding it into these pheasant john. Right, that's it. Now I'm going to save in this for my rice. And I'm pulling it back here. We added the corn chicken into our pheasant john, and this is the water, the saffron water from the corn. Uh, which I've literally just saved it for the rice. So it might make your rice go a bit, uh, do you know, well, it's just going to be pure saffron rice, but that doesn't matter because we're literally saving it. And that's very, very good. Going to give a very nice flavor to the rice as well, right? I'm going to make it all cook. Um, this one, it needs the very important parts pomegranate paste or pomegranate sauce so i'm going to be adding this pomegranate paste into it and then the color as you see it looks actually dark is because it does have pomegranate paste in it here is the rice and let's have a look at the food right so it looks really nice at the moment i'm going to be adding the pomegranate sauce and i think it's going to be very difficult to actually work with one hand, so I'm going to be adding it now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Look, that's it. Let's just have a look and see how it's going to look with the pomegranate sauce. Woo!
think I might add a bit more pomegranate sauce in it. I hope it's not going to be so sour because the, this pomegranate sauce is literally quite a sour one. Give it another 15 minutes to cook and we'll see how it comes out and let's have a look at the rice as well okie dokie here we go this is my second rice and this is fesson john and this is my salad